Let's use uh, Copilot to try to do some repetitive work. In this case, we have a Python function. It is called uh, string. It's a string to Boolean. Basically, you get some strings as input, and then depending if it's a yes or a y or an, even an empty one, it will give you a true or false. A uh, pretty straightforward function. Uh, I know I have to write some tests. Tests can be repetitive, and as we are trying to get Copilot to help us out a little bit here. I'm, we're going to see if we can get into some trouble and try to troubleshoot what's going on. So let's just start with um, with a comment, with a prompt, and I'm going to say um, uh, create a test for the string to bool function. And uh, you can see that there's nothing going on. So in this case, uh, and whenever I hit return, you might see um, you might see that the copilot will will spin and that's kind of like the indication that it's thinking about what you're typing and, and trying to make something happen. So if I try def, uh, you'll see that spin and nothing happens. So what's going on? Uh, is copilot broken? Is, is it not really not working? Well, sometimes copilot doesn't have enough uh, to get you going. Now, uh, this is fine in this case, uh, our, our prompt, our prompt is not very good, but we can uh, try uh, something else. And this is kind of like the thing that you will have to do is like play around with different prompts or if you get frustrated and you don't you don't get uh, Copilot to do what you want, you can just start typing typing out what exactly what you want. So in this case, I know I want to use PyTest. It's a library for testing in Python. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, well, use PyTest uh, to generate uh, some tests for the string to bool function. Now you can see that I typed enough that Copilot was able to pick up on exactly what I wanted. So I'm gonna hit the tab and then uh, that's just going to work very well. And there you go. Uh, one of the things that, uh, that PyTest does uh, very well is that uh, it, can, it can actually uh, suggest something that is very, <laughs> very useful. In this case, parameterize, which is a feature from PyTest. I'm going to hit tab. Uh, this looks okay. Yes, yes, true, and open, and and it's even doing the no's and the false statements. Now, this is a feature. Uh, this is a feature of. Uh, <laughs> this is a feature of uh, PyTest that makes testing really, uh, really good. So you can see that there's several, several different values there that he's trying and he keeps uh, giving me some suggestions. Now, some of those are uh, starting to get repetitive and not very useful. The value errors are fine. Uh, I'm just hitting tab, so I'm accepting some of those suggestions. But you can see that if I had to type all of those from scratch, it would be kind of like uh, repetitive. And, and that's uh, one of the powerful things about Copilot is that it allows us to be to be faster because we don't have to come up with these things and type them up and uh, and get all these suggestions to be going. So I'm going to accept that uh, this is uh, going fine and uh, this looks good enough. All right, so what else can we do here? Well, I'm not quite happy with mixing absolutely every single value that we can pass. So I can, I can actually uh, just uh, do something slightly, slightly different and I can say uh, use parameterize to uh, test uh, the string uh, string to boolean function uh, with uh, with a list of inputs uh, for let's say for only the true values for uh, true uh, values. So let's try and see if we can get those. And you can see that it correctly guessed or suggested that the underscore y uh, underscore yes and the empty value are the ones that I want to really do. And if I scroll, well, I'm not going to scroll. I'm going to let this uh, finish uh, and, and that that will be fine. So th this is kind of like what the tests that I really like uh, generating. So it's very, very concise. Uh, it's just three lines. It doesn't combine absolutely everything and that is kind of like what you need to think about copilot like when copilot is running you don't i mean this is this is a this is fine this totally works but uh, you need to 
make it go into kind of like the direction that you want to go in. One of the descriptions that I've heard about Copilot that I really like is kind of like a toddler, uh, someone that is very young that you have to give them like very, uh, very particular questions to get exactly the, the behavior that you're expecting. So in this case, uh, these three lines, that, that looks great. There's a problem here where the, uh, where actually I thought there was a problem because I thought that this was uh, named the same, but the function is not named uh, the same as this one. You can see here, this is just a generic string to Boolean. But the surprising fact is that uh, Y, yes, and empty string are coming from here. And what does that mean? Well, GitHub Copilot has the ability to have some context. It's context aware. So it is one of the things that is uh, very neat about uh, what what are some of the, these uh, capabilities. So let's try one more thing and let's try to generate some some uh, lists for testing a possible true and false values. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say create a list of values for testing uh, true values from the string to boolean uh, function. So I'm gonna say true values and this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. And probably it will start suggesting exactly what I want. So not only here, Copilot allow me to give me some answer for what I needed, which is the true underscore vals variable, but it's also now suggesting the next prompt for itself. So it's kind of like meta, right? It's, it's actually suggesting things for itself to find exactly what I need. So yes, this is exactly where I was going. And uh, yes, those are exactly the values that I was uh, thinking uh, would be would be good enough. So I can use those in testing and avoid that repetitive behavior, repetitive typing, which is one of the features of Copilot that I really like so much.